more with Lou Engle. We'll give you a website and uh, more uh, so that you can also plug into the work that he and his organization is uh, so vitally doing and has been for so many years on behalf of our nation. He is the uh, co-founder of The Call Solemn Assemblies, and that is a movement of prayer gathering young adults uh, to pray and fast for breakthrough and revival. We've seen some incredible things occurring under the aegis of this great ministry over the years. We're coming back with more with Lou Engel in a moment. Lou Engel of The Call with me. Their website is just that, thecall.com, thecall.com. And uh, Lou, uh, you uh, said a very important thing, I think, uh, among several in this uh, piece I'm looking at right now. All of the events you and I have just briefly touched on, and we haven't covered all of them, uh, is enough to awaken us to this, uh, just one of them is enough to awaken us to this significant throbbing moment. But when they all converge, it becomes a massive spiritual alarm that must be responded to by a praying church. Oh, Don, see, we need, we need to recognize the times. And actually, the, uh, the Lord allows this so that we, so that we can uh, re- respond properly. And I think, frankly, he's calling the church to united massive praying right now across the nation concerning the thing that's coming on, fr- on Friday. And again with this Rivka, the 17-year-old girl who's uh, uh, confessing Christ, but is uh, um, uh, allegedly being, being um, threatened by Death if she doesn't deny Christ. We this is after forty days of Ramadan, the Muslim forty days of fasting. It's interesting, even Don, that the holy days of the, uh, of the Jewish holy days begin right at the end of Ramadan. I think there's a convergence here, and it's a call for spiritual response and prayer. And so um, I, I, we're calling people to fast and pray as the Lord would lead them all through this week, and on, particularly on Friday. Pray that God will break in to Muslims nationwide, the Muslims that are here, that God would, uh, would send dreams uh, revealing Jesus. Most Muslims are getting saved in the nations with dreams. Why not America? What if the whole church across America, and they're uniting with us in prayer, would begin to pray for a great spiritual awakening and an invasion of Jesus' revelation to Muslims across America? Oh, what a great day if we seize the moment. I think you're so right, and this is, to me, the true and appropriate response It's not a matter of getting out and marching against Muslims or protesting or even seeking political redress or recourse of any sort. This is a free nation. We want all religions that are peaceable to worship freely, but we don't want the violence and the other things that can erupt on both sides of such an issue. And as you put it so well, our fight is not against Muslims. It's against principalities, powers, forces of darkness. And we as Christians do acknowledge that whether uh, it wants to be acknowledged or not, uh, ad- admitted or not, there are spiritual forces behind these false religions. Well, no, no, no question about it, and particularly when you see the pressure that comes down on one that converts to Christianity, this uh, mm. little girl, this beautiful uh, Rivka, the 17-year-old, her life is literally on the line right now. We need to pray, but what she's saying is this is not about me. Her, she's not as concerned about her future. She says, this is an opportunity to share Jesus Christ with millions of Muslims. Oh, what a courageous young lady. The church should stand with this little Esther. And maybe for such a time as this, her message will go out all over the world, and people will hear it, even Muslims, and Jesus can use that to turn their hearts. Let's not point the finger in anger. Let's cry out to God for a mighty breakthrough of, his, of the gospel. And would you agree? It needs to be said that millions of Muslims uh, do not support honor killing. However, it is not unheard of among um, a a fundamentalist, uh, uh, staunch, uh, even radical Islamists right here in the United States. There have been cases of, of honor killings here in the U.S. Well, this, uh, this family actually comes from Ohio and is a part of a mosque that it has a very documented and well-known uh, traffic of, uh, of extremists coming through it. It's, it's not just a, uh, uh, you know, a middle, uh, you know, kind of a, um, a, uh, a middle of the road kind of mosque. It, it, it has an extremist edge to it. And we can't, we have to take this serious, particularly even in America. Don, we are facing a moment of 
time that actually Muslims uh, with Sharia law would be free to actually release this kind of abuse on a child in a nation that has preserved liberty. This can't happen. Just uh, it, uh, we, we need to take a stand for this gal and then pray, not with anger and hate, but with, uh, with God, Jesus, show mercy, break in, pray for the family. And by the way, Don, we're not supporting a, a girl running away from her family. Uh, we don't want to see break up a family. But in this case, I think we need to stand with our little sister in Christ. Coming back for a few more minutes with Lou Engel. When we come back, I'll have Lou talk a bit more about this entire week, starting today, concerted prayer, concert of prayer, today through the 25th, especially focusing on Friday the 25th, as uh, the church in the, in the United States is being called to prayer at this most strategic and opportune time in our nation's history and culture. And we'll be back with more. The website to visit for more information about Lou's work and that of his ministry is called thecall.com, www.thecall.com. But I want you to know that starting today, the 21st through the 25th of this week, urgent call to prayer, signs of the times, concert of prayer. Back in a moment. Don Crow Show on WAVA. Lou Engel with me of The Call. Their website is thecall.com. Critical week right now in our nation's life and history. And uh, we've talked briefly about uh, some of the convergence uh, uh, elements that are all coming together at this particular moment in time. Uh, Lou, from a spiritual perspective, what do you sense the Lord saying to our nation with this uh, dramatic rise of uh, Islamic emphasis and focus and uh, as you've already pointed out, a president who at least certainly has not stood very well by, very well alongside the Christian community, but seems to me to be bending over backwards every chance he gets to, uh, uh, you know, to uh, indicate his uh, interest in or his support of the Muslim faith. Well, I, it, it's uh, we really the church needs to understand that neutrality in spiritual issues there is no such thing. When, uh, you know, and, uh, Jay, who was riding into Jezebel's camp, says, uh, uh, do you, she says, do you come in peace? Says, How can there be any peace as long as the sorceries uh, and adulteries of uh, Jezebel are in the land? Again, we're not talking about people. We're talking about spiritual powers. That's why, Don, mm-hmm. it is so essential that the church prays. You know, Don, it was in 1996 on a 40-day fast. I received a dream We received a dream in which there was a Buddhist house of prayer on top of a Christian house of prayer dominating the Christian house of prayer. But in the dream, the Christian house of prayer did a reversal and begin to dominate or contend and win the battle over the Buddhist house of prayer. And out of this dream, the Lord spoke to me, my life calling for partly, which is raise up a house of prayer that contends with every other house. How is the Christian house of prayer going to contend with a Muslim house of prayer that prays five times a day? And in the Christian house of prayer, you can barely get people to a prayer meeting. Now, that's all changing. Something's changing. Right now, God is calling the church to a whole new dimension of prayer, not just this week. But nationwide, we must begin to contend for a great awakening. The nation is at a state of breakdown. I, I want to I wanna get a thought from you before we lose, run out of time. I'll pick yeah. up on what you just said. It's it's a terrible mistake on the part of the Christian community to think that those five times of prayer in the Muslim faith are mere religious exercises. In other words, they you're saying they have spiritual effect and impact in the spirit world. No question. Sacrifice in any spiritual dimension or even any religion releases spiritual power. The church doesn't understand that. We, uh, When you open up mosque in a nation, there is prayer being invoked into a region. That's why it's a call to a response to prayer. And, Don, I'm going to be on Thursday night from 7.30 to 9 o'clock with James Dobson and Shirley Dobson, Mike Huckabee, Tony Perkins. We're doing a massive phone prayer uh, gathering, uh, Eastern Time, 7.30 Eastern Time, and the information's on the call.com. I, I, Don, I'm so gripped that the church must pray for revival like we had never had. We can't go on business as usual, Don. And we don't have to wait for political things to change. Our primary weapons are not carnal, Paul said, or of the flesh. They are mighty through God. They're spiritual and mighty through God, the pulling down of the strongholds of Satan. So we don't have to be a Democrat or Republican or resort to political machinations to get the victory. 
Don, when the church understands this, the ones who win the battle in the air through mm. fasting for actually we can win it on the ground. We try it with political things, but we need air supremacy. A war cannot be won without winning the battle of the sky. It's the same way as the Spirit. That's why Daniel fasts and prays 21 days, and suddenly there's a breakthrough. The church must win this, understand this in every region, in every church. It's the time to recover prayer and fasting for spiritual breakthrough. Lou, thank you, my friend, for your friendship, your leadership, and God bless you. We'll keep spreading the word with you. I love you, Don. Thanks so much. I love you as well, my friend. Lou Engel. Again, go to thecall.com on the web. Get all the information uh, that we've just briefly touched on, and uh, uh, you want to know more about that special prayer gathering that uh, Lou just mentioned with uh, other Christian leaders. You'll find that information as well www.thecall.com. Thanks for being with us during this part.